Hey. Bye. In here, welcome to the Garden Report live outside Celtics practice. Celtics held a little film session today after their grueling game three loss, 109-103 to the Heat. I check out our videos covering that game on Celtics CLNS. Joe Sway and I talked after the game for quite a while on what was a grisly night. Ominous start, and again, a really ominous five days where Al Horford, Marcus Smart exited the Celtics lineup before their game one loss, returned for their game two win, and then Robert Williams and Marcus Smart exit the lineup, and Smart ultimately returns to finish game three. A blowout that turned into a close loss but the Celtics trail by plenty as 26 points. They may talking about the injuries, three of them out of that game. The less concerning one, Jason Tatum, the stinger. Seems like he's going to be all right from that. Fell, went to the back, got some treatment, and then got back in the game for that closing stretch. Back-to-back -back turnovers ultimately cost the Celtics a game between him and Brown. And then Marcus Smart, the more concerning one, with Rob probably somewhere in the middle. Smart rolled that right ankle pretty bad, already dealing with a foot sprain that he came back from, played 40 minutes on in game two, and now he's gonna have to deal with this ankle ailment, which if it's a pretty bad ankle sprain, as Udoka said there, you worry that he's gonna miss extended time here. Uh, now he has bounced back from quad injuries, just numerous ailments throughout this postseason, and played through that ankle injury in the game there, but there's a big difference between getting back on your feet the night that it happens, and two nights later, getting back out there after the swelling and pain goes up. Those are all things that the Celtics are going to have to contend with here. And down multiple starters, it's hard to feel good about them in this series if Robert Williams is unable to go too. He may say in last night that Rob, with that swelling and pain, probably going to be day-to-day -day for the rest of this postseason, which just isn't what you want to hear. Same deal today at practice. They're just going to continue to monitor it, and if he can get the range of motion back, get the flexibility, overcome the soreness, and the swelling now that's set in again from that bone bruise. Last series, along with the comeback from surgery that he underwent in March there, it's, it's, it doesn't sound good. And the whole series to me just isn't sounding good as a whole right now when you have this paper-thin Celtics team, which to their credit has overcome adversity like this throughout the postseason. One round one largely without Rob, won a game in round two without Smart, and then closed the series out with Rob sparingly available with the bone bruise. So they've overcome individual injuries, but when it gets to two, that's where I really get worried, especially with Derek White now. 33% from the field this postseason, 23% from three, six points per game, just really struggling to be aggressive, be assertive, play make, and fill in that role for Smart. You just don't feel good about him stepping into that role if Smart has to miss some time. In fact, in the last night's game, Peyton Pritchard was the one who stepped in for Smart. Peyton Pritchard was the one who stepped in for Tatum when he exited the game. And Peyton Pritchard has been the better of the two players so far in this series, which is good to see from Pritchard. From White's perspective, it's still confidence in that shot. The ability to draw defenders and play make if you're not a threat to score it just diminishes. It's natural. So right now, I know everyone's going to say I'm flip-flopping, but you lose those two players potentially for some time here. Kyle Lowry's back on the Miami side. Jimmy Butler's injury out of heat practice today. Not a big concern, it seems like. He's just out of the healthier, sturdier of these two groups right now. Defending better. Bam out of bio, finding his groove. We'll talk about all the keys going into game four on Monday night in this video. But for now, Marcus Smart dealing with a pretty bad ankle injury. Robert Williams still day to day with his knee ailment. And Jason Tatum probably going to be good to go for game four after his stinger in game three. Celtics lose 109 103, down two to one in this series. Brought to you by com, com.com slash garden. Get 40% off a premium subscription. That's sleep, help. That's meditation, walkthroughs, that's yoga, that's everything wellness to help your mind, help you relax, help you sleep through this postseason. You're going to need it after last night's loss. And of course, HelloFresh.com slash Playoff16. Everybody's got to eat, and they're going to make it easier with prepackaged ingredients, instructions, and 16 free meals, three free gifts when you sign up at HelloFresh.com slash Playoff16. That's HelloFresh.com slash Playoff16. I'm Bobby Manning, CLNS Media from our back center. Catch you in the next video. Subscribe, Celtics All Access, and CLNS Media on YouTube.